Everybody and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Well, today I'm going back to my acrylic pouring roots and I am attempting my very first Dutch pour. This is actually my second ish attempt that I'm showing you here. And I did finish this in resin, which I will be including that in bonus content for my patrons in the month of July. My sister joined me and she did her very first ever acrylic pour. She did a dirty flip cup. And while we did that, we were doing an Instagram live. So if you hear me maybe being a little repetitive in this or talking to somebody not in the room, it is because we were doing a live. I tried to edit it out as much as I could, uh, but it is what it is. So let's get right into it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. some pouring yes <laughs> and uh, you've never done this no it's been pouring here it's crazy we yeah flash flooding is yes. just nuts so this is like the perfect night to paint pouring in the pouring pouring in the pouring <laughs> okay she's my new marketing director so um, I accept so Carrie being this is your first time yeah do you want to go pretty basic yes all right so you just want to do like a dirty flip cup pour where you just flip it over. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I haven't been pouring. As you all know, I've been doing a lot of resin geodes. Since I haven't been pouring in a while, uh, I just did a tree ring the other night when I was helping out teaching some young ladies how to pour. Um, and I think I'm going to try a Dutch pour. Uh, Carrie has selected some colors. Do you maybe want to hold them up and show? Yes. So, yeah. I have Cloudy Day. Oh. I have Eggplant. And those are both by Folk Art. And then Citron Green. By Americana Deco Art. And I am using all Deco Art Americana. I'm going to use Coral Blush, Royal Fuchsia, and Cadmium Yellow. And we're both going to, of course, use white. Um, even though these are more the crafty uh, paints, I did use Li Liquitex White because I just have a ton of this stuff. So. Um, also, we're only going to mix this um, tonight with Floetrol. Usually I use my own pouring medium, but tonight we're just kind of decided to do this and we're just going to use Floetrol and a little bit of spring water and probably some silicone. Uh, I like to use dimethicone silicone. So let's, okay. let's put some paint in our cups. So we're just using Dixie cups here. We are using, I think these are 8x10 canvases that I got at Michael's. I did prep the back with blue painter's tape. So these are prepped and ready to go, and we are placing them on my painter's pyramids, which are my favorite things to you. You can find a link to my Amazon store, which has all my favorite products, uh, including these painter's pyramids. I really didn't start using these until I was doing the resin art, but they're awesome for uh, acrylic pouring as well. You just pick one color, and obviously in one cup, we're just going to add a little, and I I just eyeball it, you guys. I really do. So just kind of fill the bottom. Okay. If we need to add more, we can. Gemini's in the house. <laughs> That's right. Do you guys feel like you have, you know, we're kind of like the dual, two different, I, I hate to say personalities, but. Ooh, that was this. That was, yeah. Mm, sure it was, scary. <laughs> sure. So I should maybe mention for the recording that I'm doing for YouTube is that we are doing this live on Instagram right now and that's why we're kind of talking probably a little differently than we normally would, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't usually um, go the... Oh my mm -hmm. God. Yeah. <laughs> it's Walter, the dog. We have Walter the dog. here. dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Carrie. It's okay. Um, so, Carrie, you might notice, too, <laughs> that those folk art paints are a little thicker. A little bit. Um, <laughs> oh, God. I swear we're not drinking. This might get ridiculous. We will laugh sometimes so hard together that we're crying. Yes. And we're going to come in with our flow trawl. And being that we're using uh, more of like a craft paint line, I like to do one part to one part. Oh, here comes oh, Walter. Just keep walking, buddy. He gets right on top of my feet. And it gets really tricky when we're trying to pour. So it's 
see, I'm just pouring in my flow trawl. And carry all pourers yeah. in. Sounds good. And then we just have to um, thoroughly mix it okay. with a fresh stick. Okay. Okay. So again, I just eyeball it. Um, if I'm doing like a really large piece, a tree ring or something, and I know the square footage of my piece and I know how many ounces I want, I will measure it. But we're not doing it. We're you know we're just keeping it cash. Yeah. We're keeping it really cash. Keeping it cash. Nice and thorough. I've seen your videos. I've seen you mix. Oh, before. you have. Mm. <laughs> I try to leave the mixing part out of the videos, so people on YouTube, I'm probably gonna fast forward this part, but it is important to really get it thoroughly. The last time I did this pour too with the young girls um, at the church, we used apple barrel paints, which I think are, in my opinion, they're probably some of the thinnest. What do you guys think? Have you used Apple Barrel before? We're using pretty much Deco Art and Americana. I usually yeah. like mine to be the consistency of like kind of a thicker coffee creamer or like a warm honey. Mm. Okay, so yours still looks a little thick. Okay. So we're just using a little bit of spring water. I'm just gonna do a little in each because I have a, I poured it in. I have a feeling they're probably all about the same. I'm just gonna do a teeny bit more in mine. Feeling good about this? Good. All right. We're putting our gloves on because it's about to go down. To get real. I made a big old thing of white, and this is Liquitex Basics White mixed with Floetrol. Now, I'm hoping this Floetrol looks okay. Um, and I did add some spring water to consistency. Carrie, yes. I'm going to put a little bit of white in this cup for you. Let's see. And I'm gonna put some white in here for me. Okay. So Carrie, you're gonna yes. do a dirty flip cup. So let me, I'm gonna um, add silicone. Okay. And I'm just gonna do it because I'm used to this little yeah. bottle. Please Otherwise do. I'd let you do it. Please I'm just gonna do. do it in two of your colors. I'm gonna do one, two, one, two. And I'm not gonna mix it in. We're okay. just gonna let it kind of sit on top. Okay. I'm gonna do a little here. One, two. I'm just one big one in my pink. I'm gonna do just a quick mix in mine because I'm doing a different technique. Okay. It's gonna be your dirty flip cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you are gonna put in here. Yes. Yeah. See, because you watch me. So yeah. You, like you've watched other videos. Yeah. Yeah. I always start with white. Okay. So you want to pour the white in and get a nice little puddle in the bottom there. Okay. More. <laughs> oh, I'm the I'm older dripping. sister. So yeah, can you, you tell? <laughs> if you can't tell how bossy I am, yeah. Keep going. Oh, man. Should I just... Okay, I'm going to let you... <laughs> Pick your next color. Okay. And you're going to come in from like high above... Okay. Because you want it to like plunge in. Okay. To the white. Plunging. So what I usually do is kind of take, yeah, take your stick out. Mm-hmm. All the way, don't, like all the way out? Yeah. Don't okay. use all of the purple. Okay. Okay. Higher. I'm nervous. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just everyone's watching, but it's fine. Okay. Now All get right. your next color. Now, so I'm going to kind of start on my pour here. And I, All right, so now that's your second color. Mm -hmm. So come in and do the same thing. I would come up a little higher. Yeah. Make sure you're over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. That really plunged in there nicely. Okay. And then um, the third with the color. gray, yep, yep, do the same thing. Oh, yep. Walter, did I step on you, buddy? I'm sorry. Okay. So put a little bit more white on top. Do I want this to plunge? Yeah. Let's try that. So I'm just putting white on my canvas right now. Cause I'm gonna do a Dutch pour and I'm pretty nervous too, I gotta say, but. 
Okay, awesome. So now do the same do order the same. again, do the purple. And you wanna get your cup, I mean, pretty much almost full. Okay. I'm gonna kinda of move my white all around my edges. I know, I'm sorry you guys can't really see a whole lot right now, but keep in mind I will make this a YouTube video and you can see all the comedy. not so easy is it no you're getting some good plunging there though <laughs> yeah never mind <laughs> <laughs> okay so the dutch pour what you do i've seen it done a couple different ways but basically kind of make like a puddle pour um and then you kind of add white like on top of it and you take a blow dryer and you move it do more white. no we're no. good okay i'm just going to show you what you're going to do and then you're going to do it so okay. you're going to take this like this and then flip it as one unit. Okay. Okay? And then I can help you get it back on there. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Gently. <laughs> Gently. I want to make sure the painter's pyramids are in the corners so nothing's mm -hmm. going anywhere. I am gonna add a little bit more white around here for Carrie. And um, so Carrie, take yeah. a clean stick and kind of move this white around. Okay. All right. So I'm adding a little puddle here. Okay, being that this is my first Dutch pour, I'm not gonna get like too crazy. I'm not gonna get too crazy, guys, cause yeah. How you doing with that spreading Did of the white? Do I cover like the whole thing or just like? Yeah, I would. I would kind of move it all around okay. if you could. I'm kind of nervous. Like I've kind of watched a little bit of this. I challenged um, Michael Grimm from Germany to do one of these and uh, he didn't enjoy it too much. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it. It's like already kind of intimidating me a little. Um, I like it. And I just, uh, I don't see, I probably shouldn't have put it like right on there, but you know what? It's, it's abstract. Yeah. It's abstract. We're just, we're just flowing. We're just flowing. I want to leave it kind of right there. I am going to torch it a little to see if I can get anything more. Better than ever. I'm feeling like I love it. I think I am too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Carrie. Okay. Moment of truth. All right. You know what, Carrie? I'm going to take the phone off the stand. Okay. Because I think we all need to be. We got to get in it. We let's. We're a community. We're together. This is a community of artists. We're all here <laughs> to support you. <laughs> Just, what do I have to do? You can pull on like an angle. You can pull straight up. Okay. Let me, let me, do I like drag it? Um, if you want to drag it, I would kind of push it forward and then. And then pull it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the cells. Look at the cells. Okay. And I just set that little cup aside. Now, do you remember watching how we kind of manipulate the canvas? Like pick to pick mm -hmm. it up. Okay. Very good. No pressure. <laughs> Just eight people are watching you okay. right now. Okay. All right. We're all here. <laughs> We're all here together. Supporting, loving. This is Carrie's first time. Yeah, I would leave that corner kind of white like that. I like it. You've got plenty of paint to bring that this way. Yep. Or even like that corner. 
Okay, and I'm really bossy, so <laughs> I'm telling my sister what to do. Oh, Carrie is getting some gorgeous cells. Carrie, I don't even think we need to torch that. No. Well, how do you feel? I like it. I know. Look at your awesome cells. I guess I shouldn't be, like, leaning over That's it. That's okay. I do it all the time, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. What's happening in there? Yeah. No, I like it. It was fun to um, do... And, you know, I know I kind of had you, like, yeah. adding them all in. You could even next time just do mm -hmm. each color, like, one at a time. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, you know, yeah. I'm seeing each of your colors in yeah. there. You got really good definition. That's it. I love this lacing I do and too. stuff. Um, and so, see, here's here's part of the thing. This is why I'll share why I never just use Floetrol is because a lot of times in my experience when I use just Floetrol, I will come down in the morning and this will be a completely right. different piece. Yeah. And when I use my pouring medium, if I use my pouring medium and I went to bed, this is what it would look this, like yeah. in the morning. So we'll see. You know, I mean, when we come down tomorrow, we'll yeah. see if they really moved. Um, I can still see this one is kind of moving. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my surfaces are level. You know, they're perfectly right. level. I make sure of that. So yeah. I still have some extra paint here, and I've got some canvases. Yeah. I might try to do another one here real quick. dry and I want to show how I remove the tape. You can see all of those drips and mess that that blue painters tape caught and now as I gently pull it off with that piece dry getting nice clean edges a beautiful clean back to your piece. This carries dry 100% uh, you can see it definitely did move we have some cracking and crazing I do blame myself for adding so much of that white to her piece before she flipped it. Um, as I did mention, I do get this result a lot of the time when I use just straight flow trawl. I would maybe try to move her piece directly to the ground. I had it propped up on some cups and that may have affected things as well. Here I want to show the one I covered in resin so you can just compare and see the differences in the looks of completing one with resin and leaving one with that matte finish. As I mentioned earlier, I will have how I finished these two pieces and Carrie's little magnet that she made in resin that will be for my $5 and up tiered patrons so please check that out in the video description if you're interested in helping to support my channel I appreciate it so so much I appreciate you just watching as well so thank you oh, I want to thank my sister for joining me we had so much fun uh, I did cut a lot of it out so if you want to see me do another Instagram live come follow me over on Instagram at drier days Here's that little magnet that my sister did. It's just so adorable and those cells are awesome. And this was with some leftover paint that she had. I had some little magnets laying around and um, so she poured on it with her paint and then I finished it in resin. Just want to show you, I did get a blemish in the resin if you can see there in the lower left corner. Uh, and I will address that also in that bonus content, how I would fix that. Uh, buff it out and fix it so 
Um, I'm very happy with how these turned out. I'll definitely be doing some more Dutch pours. Let me know what you think. Did I succeed at this? Did I fail massively? I'm really happy with them. I enjoyed doing it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. A big thank you once again. So until next time, everybody, keep on pouring. <laughs>